Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, it's Tyra. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you the relaxer system that I use for my relaxed clients, and it's the Affirm Fiber Guard system. I'm gonna show you the four steps uh, that I use for my relaxed clients. Now, I, I know that a lot of people love to stay natural, but let's be honest, that does not work for everyone. So if my clients want to relax their hair, I'd rather be the one to do it to make sure that I do it correctly and that their hair remains healthy, which is always, always, always my number one uh, concern when it comes to my client. So this client, we've already did a relaxer on her virgin hair about eight weeks ago. And as you can see, she now needs a touch up. She has about that much hair growth. So we're just gonna go in and relax that for her so that it can uh, match with the rest of her hair and she doesn't have any difficulties with her roots so the first thing that i'm going to do is obviously base her scalp um, this one is not part of this particular system but it is part of this company's um, brand of products and it is a sensitive skin uh, base cream so i just apply that all over her uh, perimeter of her hair and also on her scalp just to protect my client okay so now it's time to get the relaxer ready i like that it comes in these little individual tubs because it allows you to get the correct portions that you need one for a retouch or two if you want to do the whole head but it's also great for sanitary reasons so you're not constantly digging into a bigger tub which you can do it safely but still it's just so much easier to have it already set and as you can see you can use the activator to make it portion it out and make it um, how resistant you want it so you can do mild normal and resistant so all you have to do is just measure it out apply pour the applicator in and then pour it into the container and just mix it up so that you can get the relaxer ready to apply. This Fiber Guard Cream Relaxer preserves up to 40% more of the hair strength than other relaxers, which is very important because even though we're chemically straightening the hair, we don't want the hair to be limp and weak. We want the hair to still have its strength uh, so that we can continue to keep the hair healthy so guys I'm just gonna mix this all up and make sure that it is uh, blended well and the two uh, products are fully combined and then I'm just gonna apply this to just her root and uh, depending on which strength you chose to use, you have up to 18 minutes to leave on the hair. So you want to make sure that you work through this pretty quickly and just get it on. My way of doing this is to get it all over the area that I'm applying it to and then going back in and smoothing it out. When I smooth it out, I do not use a comb. I'm not scraping uh, the scalp with a comb. I'm just using the back of the applicator brush just to smooth it out and make sure that the relaxer is where I need it to be and that it's straightening the hair um, like I need it to and just you know making sure that I'm constantly checking it to see if it's where I need it to be even if I still have time left because if I have time le left and the hair is where I need it to be I'm gonna rinse it out anyway um, because it's not about leaving it in for the time that the time suggestion is um, a max time um, not so much a time that you have to leave it on so yeah so as I apply it I just Make sure that I'm constantly checking it um, so that I can be ready to rinse it off when it's done processing. 
So as you can see, to make it easy on myself, I did section off the hair into three sections. I like to work with the back piece being a, a fairly big section and then the two smaller sections in the front. So another reason I do like using the fiber guard uh, relaxer is because it is a relaxer that you can use for clients who uh, use hair color. So, um, and it's safe to use it. Um, they also claim to be safe for extremely damaged hair. However, me being the, uh, the healthy hairstylist that I am, I would not recommend any chemicals on hair that is damaged. Um, but you know, if you like to say, if you have someone who has a short hair, a short haircut or something like that and they do uh, need a relaxer that's probably the only situation i would uh, suggest you know applying um, a relaxer to damage hair but other than that i wouldn't do it but um, this relaxer does claim to be safe for extremely damaged hair but i like it because if your client uses hair color and they also want their hair relaxed this would be the relaxer to do that with so after finishing step two which is the actual relaxer we're going to move on to step three so as you know with a relaxer we're breaking down the curls so now that we're done with that part now it's time to start rebuilding the hair back up. So what I'm applying with step number three is the fiber guard sustenance, which is a fortifying treatment. So this treatment has their fiber guard complex and it also has lipid replenishing molecules, which go into the hair to replace the natural shine properties that were depleted when we applied the relaxer and it also has special fruit extracts to strengthen the hair while replenishing um, the moisture that was lost with the relaxer so then after we let that sit in for about 10 to 20 minutes um, I am going in with their fiber guard normalizing shampoo this also contains the, the fiber strengthening complex. It also contains ceramides and fruit extracts that strengthen the hair. It's gonna restore the shine in the body to the hair. So uh, you kind of get the theme with this uh, fiber guard relaxer system. Um, they have the strengthening uh, complex, which is in the actual relaxer. It's in the fortifying treatment it's in the neutralizing shampoo so um, their idea is to strengthen the hair while you're relaxing it to make sure that the hair stays strong and your client will be able to keep it uh, as healthy as possible with the fact that you're using a a chemical treatment to break down the hair so, um, you know, like I said, it's all about making sure that you keep the hair as healthy as possible. So that shampoo that I use, it also has the um, color indicator. So it lets you know um, when the relaxer is completely washed out. And it's funny because I always joke with my clients that I'm going to give them a bath because I like to make sure that I know for a fact that all the relaxer is completely out of their hair, their forehead, their ears, their neck, wherever it might um, get on or accidentally wash onto. Just make sure that I shampoo everything out, make sure it's completely gone. So as you can see here, I am giving her a roller set. Um, it's just healthier, especially after a uh, relaxer treatment, um, relaxer. Uh, you want to make sure that you know you do things that the healthiest way. Have I 
uh, used a blow dryer? Yes, I have. If my client is rushing and they don't have the time to sit under the dryer, I will use a blow dryer on the low setting um, and try not to put the, the heat directly on the, on the hair. But if you can, uh, roll a set is always the best way to go. And as you can see, her hair still has curl to it and that's done on purpose. I do not like to relax to the point of straight hair. The longer you leave the uh, relaxer in the hair, the more damage you are causing. A relaxer should be for that reason, just to relax the curl, not to completely take it away. When you do that, your hair is not left with uh, body in it and it is left with more damage. So just enough to relax the curl and make the hair more manageable. So this is what her hair looks like after um, we remove the roller set. I personally would have kept it with all the curls because I think it looks so beautiful and so full. The hair has shine to it. It's healthy looking and strong looking. Uh, I think it looks beautiful this way. However, my client wanted her hair straight this time. So um, I would have preferred to wrap it and sit her back under the dryer for a little bit so that she would have the wrap look, but she didn't have the time to go back under the dryer so what I'm going to do is to give her a uh, much needed trim and then use the blow dryer to relax the curl and make the hair straight. I am using the blow dryer on a low heat setting so that I'm not using too much more heat on her hair. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right guys, so after the trim, all I did was go back in with warm air and cool air to reset the style. So for home care, all she has to do is to make sure to keep her hair clean, uh, deep condition and keep her hair moisturized and wrap it at night to keep the style and protect her strands from drying out. So this is the recap. This was what needed to be relaxed. It was her root. We made it straight to match the rest of her relaxed hair. So yeah, guys, this is the final product. Make sure to leave any questions or comments down below. I will get back to them. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.